What up, everybody? It's me, Mr. Right, here with a uh, discussion video. I don't do these too often, but I try to uh, do them every now and again when I can. I am at work, so yeah, that's probably another reason I, I'm not able to do it but so often. But we got three new cards that were revealed to us. Uh, Hanzo, uh, Tatari, Tatari Bue, and Kurugiri. Um, we're going to go over um, Kurugiri first. Uh, act, rear, circle, cost. Um, so Blast 2, return this card to hand and get two uh, tokens. So with our new, yet another one, new thing between bouncing, discarding, and now getting tokens. Um, our tokens, unlike uh, Neo Nectar, uh, they intercept and they don't boost. Uh, they have 5k shield. So this gives us a bit of uh, uh, a leniency to our hand. So calling two of those, especially with uh, us who like using the protect two markers, um, that's a 15k uh, from the field intercept. Um, and they can accept for, uh, they can intercept from the back row. So that's always great. So, you know, riding multiple grade threes, instead of just putting it on one circle, uh, you get to put it in your back row as well. So you can, okay, free up your hand a little bit there. So, okay. Intercept here, intercept there, intercept there. Um, not to mention, you know, there's going to be multiple ways with, uh, Hanzo to feel your soul. Um, I'm going to go with, uh, in the next clip, Tatari Bue. So with, uh, Stealth Fiend Tatari Bue, uh, auto van attack, uh, on van. So it's a great one, obviously. And, uh, should it hit? So this, uh, puts a lot of pressure on our opponent to guard our first attack. Um, especially if it's, you know, uh, especially if it hits, so it's like, okay, draw one and then, um, on rear circle continuous, if it's with a, another grade zero, uh, on rear somewhere during your turn, you get a 5k. So, uh, 5k power, you get, uh, a little bit of power, uh, with this unit. I, I think it is, um, going to be well worth having it. Um, especially since, uh, you get, um, uh, Kurugiri, um, should, uh, you get enough soul that way, especially in premium, you get soul with so many cards, so it's no problem. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So it's just like our ideal great one since we never truly had one outside of Dreadmaster with the drop draw, but it's like that that's okay i don't need to filter um uh so in the next one hanzo so i am enjoying hanzo as far as his effect uh mainly van so a four of uh and it's ideal if you go second um not even not bad if you go first either but it's ideal if you go second with this card. So act, Vanguard Circle, once a turn, retire two grade zeros. So that can be your tokens or you just so happen to call triggers down there, whatever. Um, retire those, you get 20K into the end of turn. Now the rest of this effect is awesome because you get to set up your play. Uh, choose any number of rear guards from both player sides and then you can uh, bounce them all to hand. And then your opponent has to discard um, that many cards that bounce. So, um, yeah, that's great. It, I wouldn't say it pushes John Mule Congo to the side, but it is a lot easier to get off the discard effect. Um, you can run both to both maintain your opponent's hand down to three, uh, down to six or four, uh, or if they have a buttload of cards in hand, 
you fill your field with Sunamasa. Sunamasa solar charges if you stack all your power onto your Vanguard. Then you bounce your Sunamasas um, and leave all but one rear guard uh, on your opponent's side of the field. Call uh, Kokushigaras or KFC or the Crow, however you want to pronounce it. Call that down. Soul Blast your three. Discard your two Sentinels. And now bounce that one and then addition, an additional five cards. So you're leaving your opponent virtually with no cards in hand. Um, and that, that turn there, um, you got all your cards back. So, so you got more soul charge or, um, uh, you got your gales. You can throw a couple of gales down and, um, it, this card, uh, ideally, I don't, I, I can see it in premium, but it's, uh, better if you're uh, going second because that Hanzo skill only works if they are at grade three or greater. Uh, so it's it's I forgot to mention that earlier. So sorry about that. But um, yeah, it, it's only for I, I can see this only being a standard type of card going second. They're at three or in Bermuda's case, four. Um, uh, I think a few other clans have a grade fours or whatever. So, um, but yeah, it, it can you can set up your plays pretty well with uh, KFC, Gale, Sunamasa, um, a, f a few of the uh, uh, Kudu Yidi to get its skill to go off. Um, and then uh, if you throw down your protect twos uh, or having, uh, this is another card that is fantastic with Storm uh, because your opponent has no field, barely any hand, then you wreck hard on that turn, ride Storm the next turn, and then go off on Storm and get another protect two. So that's another uh, five on your rear guard column pushing up between your 8 to 13s or your 9 to 14s or if you're running the 12k uh, vanilla that's a 17 there um, not to mention calling things back and then going for its stronger uh, attribute of giving plus 5 to um, to the units that you call back so uh, this can be a great turn one ride, uh, excuse me, second turn ride. You know, okay, so you're going second, and that is your ideal ride target. There we go. So with that, um, going second is no longer a detriment because, you know, we don't have to solely depend on Jamio Congo. Um, I really wish they did better with um, Kujikidi Congo. Um, it's just it's it's an okay grade three now. His uh, right, his uh, former self, the break ride was a lot better. Um, but that's just me, my opinion. You know, sure the garbage trick. So speaking of garbage trick, with uh, can't think of the man's name now, but uh, let's say you have multiple grade threes, and so you can afford the grade three. Soul Blast, so there's Guard Restrict there. Uh, so let's say they do end up with four cards after all of that draw that they got to do with Hanzo's effect. Um, even with KFC, if you have KFC in there, then you throw down the other grade three. Now they're on a, a strict uh, guard limit there with, you guard it with this, now you can't guard with that same grade for the rest of the turn. So that uh, sentinel that they were saving now they can't do zeros or uh, great ones should they run the great one sentinel game there um, so that's my two cents there's a lot more to uh, adding the you know synergizing with other cards I would like to get into so uh, comment like subscribe any questions or comments y'all would like to leave in the comment section feel free uh, appreciate you